In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the Lasco portable oscillating heater I bought off Amazon. I've been doing testing on several portable heaters this winter because natural gas is up about 300% across the country. So a lot of people are looking to these portable electric ceramic heaters uh, to give a little supplemental heat to their home to offset the natural gas costs. So we'll get this unboxed. I've got my Therm Pro here. We'll check the heat output. And I'll let you know what I think of this portable heater. Heater totally unboxed and unwrapped. Now, just a first impression, this is a nice looking heater. It's gonna go with a lot of different decor. Now it does stand about 24 inches tall. It's about seven inches wide and deep. What that means is, in a lot of these tower heaters, uh, they're easily tipped over. So if you have pets and small kids, just keep that in mind. We're gonna turn it on, do a little bit of testing, and see how it performs. I have it on high heat and high fan. If you watch the decibel meter, it's only running at about 48 decibels. Now just to let you know what that means is a normal library is at 42 decibels. So this is the quietest one I've tested so far. So the next test is the same one I do with all the portable heaters. I have my Therm Pro about 10 inches in front of the heater. I wait for 10 minutes and we see how hot the air is coming out of the heater. So after running 10 minutes, my Therm Pro is reading 124 degrees. This model comes in at $56 on Amazon and it's one of the cheapest models I've tested that comes with a remote control. Now just keep in mind that this heater works great as a remote. It is very inexpensive, coming in at under $60. It does not offer tip over protection. A lot of the other heaters that are in the $80 and above price range, uh, once they tip to a certain point, they will automatically shut off. This one does not have tip over protection. So if you have dogs, cats, little kids running around and you're worried about getting tipped over, uh, this one's gonna be a problem for you. So if you tip this, let's say that something ran past, knocked it over, it's going to hit the floor and it's going to stay on. So just keep that one in mind if you're thinking about buying this one. Look at the controls. You have a timer function right here. This is your oscillate function. Uh, it's only going to oscillate left and right. Power button right here. Here's your high low. And your plus or minus, like let's say you want to set your room at 72 degrees, you just use your plus or minus buttons, uh, get it set to the temperature you want, and then it will maintain that temperature. And this temperature right here that it's showing is the showing the actual room temperature of this room. So I've got the oscillate feature on, and as you can watch it, you can see it oscillate left to right. Now it's not a total 180 degrees apart, uh, it does oscillate enough, surely, to kind of move the air around the room. I'm going to continue to use this for a week, and then I'll give you my kind of weekend review and conclusion on this heater. But right now, my first impressions are a uh, nice looking heater. It's a nice compact size. Uh, it puts out an extreme amount of heat. Uh, it actually probably blows uh, maybe a little more than some of the other ones I've tested as well. Uh, it's relatively cheap. Like I said, it's under $60. It does not have tip over protection though, but it does come with the remote control. It's pretty packed with features for the price. It might be kind of the best bang for the buck. Um, maybe you could just buy two of these uh, instead of one kind of more expensive one and kind of split up uh, the heat and cost to offset that natural gas bill this winter. But I'll be posting another video in about a week, give you my result and conclusion on that one. And I hope you found this video helpful and informational. Thanks for watching.